Wow, what a season. Rodgers and Hammerstein, Andrew Lloyd Webber, La Traviata. What an amazing season. And what's really amazing is that we have the real live mus uh, maestro, Kirk Muspratt, right here with us. We snuck back there and grabbed you before the show because we want to know. So tell us a scoop. What should we be listening for tonight? Oh, well, we have all kinds of genres of music. We have classical music. We have ballet music. We have, uh, we have Americana. We have some gorgeous Hispanic music. And we've got movie music. So there's a pastiche of everything. Hopefully something for everything, everyone. You always put together an awesome night. Thank you. So, Kirk, tell us, what would be like the most difficult piece that we're going to hear tonight for you and for the orchestra that you've really been working hard on? Well, we had one rehearsal this afternoon and we didn't even do all of the pieces. We just did spots because the orchestra is so good. But I was saying to you earlier today off camera that all the John Williams music is virtuosic music. And I said to you, I remember earlier, that Harry Potter is absolute murder as a piece. It's got so many notes and it's right at the edge of what a person could do on their instrument. It's like playing Richard Strauss or Puccini or something like that. It's really tough stuff. Now, it shouldn't sound that way. You know, it should sound like Harry Potter. You know, but it's really hard. The Cowboys Overture of John Williams, right on the edge. Like, it's very difficult stuff. So this is challenging. That's what oh. we talk. So I'm thinking, oh, the Harry Potter's the fun music. You're like, no, it's the hard music. No, no, ask them after. They'll say, no, no, my fingers, my lips, my arms were all, you know, yeah. It's really tough music. Kirk, this has been a great year for you and the orchestra. You won Orchestra of the Year. How does it feel? Uh, it's very gratifying. I think our musicians deserve it. They're the top musicians in Chicago. They're devoted to this place. I think they're really devoted to the history of our orchestra, to the MAC, to our DuPage County, and to the college. Um, they're wonderful people. They care, and it's a pleasure and an honor to conduct them. It's really a gift to have a professional orchestra right here in DuPage County. I mean, that's unusual to have an orchestra of this size and stature, isn't it? Absolutely. And I, we're the only professional orchestra in the county. And you may know of another college that has a professional orchestra in residence, but I don't. And then to have the beautiful Belushi Hall to play in, because it is a gem of a hall. It's just a gem. It is a gift, and and tonight is our donors. Our donors are here to support to support you and support the Mac, and it truly is the gift that keeps on giving it is. because they give this gift to our whole community, and everybody gets to enjoy it. And it's jammed. I mean, if you looked around here, there's not a, people are sitting on each other's knees. And it's a beautiful night, but it is a way for people to just come together and have a beautiful quality evening and enjoy our company and come together as a community, which I think the college does a great job at. I do too, and I love these nights because it's it's not about, you know, all the politics and this and that. It's just about being together yeah. and enjoying the weather because yeah. in Chicago we don't get a lot of nice nights like this. <laughs> and, and, you know, it feels like family. I was just talking to Mike, who's going to come on the camera in a minute, and he said that one of the things he loves about this is it feels like family with the musicians, mm -hmm. with the patrons, with the crew, everyone. So uh, it is a great feeling. You don't get it everywhere. Kirk, you do an awesome job. Break a leg tonight. I can't wait to see the show because and listen, it's always spectacular. So thank you. Okay, thank you. Listen to Harry Potter. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Break a leg. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. John Slovis is on the dance faculty at College of DuPage, and he's going to tell you about the exciting programs happening in dance at College of DuPage. Take a look. The student at College of DuPage loves to dance, and that's why I love to teach here. Um, they, no one is taking class because they're forced to. Everyone is choosing to, and that's a, a great aspect of a dancer. Um, I teach classes with a wide variety of levels. I have many, many beginners who just go in and try it. And then I have a lot of dancers who could potentially be professional dancers and are just supplementing their training. It's very exciting to have a short period of time with a student to really get them prepared for their next step, whether that is teaching at a studio, you know, auditioning for another school, or whether that's just to dance around. Um, so my relationship with the students has really grown. I have many students who have taken all of my classes for all three years and continue to stick around. Even when they go to another university for their degree, they still come take dance class with me, which is really exciting. 
College of DuPage Dance offers a wide variety of classes. We primarily offer modern jazz and ballet. Uh, we do offer musical theater dance as well as tap. Um, and within that, we also offer dance production and performance, which gives a great opportunity for students to perform on campus, as well as the option to choreograph. So there's a wide variety of ways to get involved in the dance program. You can just join a class, which has no pressure to perform. There are beginning level classes as well as more advanced. And as I said, there's a wide variety of students in each class, which makes it very exciting for the students as well as the, the teachers. And those classes are offered during the day or as well as night. If you're interested in performing, we do a placement class at the beginning of each semester, which just gives us an idea of the variety or the history of people's dance abilities. And we really do want anyone that wants to perform, we give them the opportunity to perform in at least one piece. The first opportunity to see the dancers perform this summer is the choreography showcase and competition. This year, the performance is on July 29th, and it does feature choreography by myself and danced by the students. In addition to that, it is a competition for choreographers throughout the Chicagoland area. So I had many submissions this year. We as a faculty decide the best seven, and then those seven will perform at this performance, and we have three judges who will decide the winners. And they are actually competing for cash prizes, as well as the opportunity to perform with our students in the fall and spring show. The fall show this year is in November, and it's always an opportunity for the community to see what our students have been working on. It's always a fantastic show, always features the students, the student choreography, faculty choreography, as well as some guest artists. There's also an opportunity to see the students perform in the spring. There's the spring showcase, which is normally at the end of April and it's a great chance to see all the variety of dances that the students perform, as well as some student choreography. The fall and spring showcases that the students perform in are both performed in the Mac Belushi Theater, which is an incredible world-renowned theater. It's an amazing opportunity for them to perform in a large stage with a huge lighting plot using a professional lighting director and a professional costumer. This is something that many universities across the country don't have access to. So it's a great opportunity for those students to perform in a big space. And then also it's a great opportunity for